Hello, hello, beautiful planner girls. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Aline from The Little Plants. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different, sharing, I guess, a little bit more about something personal, I guess. I have been a little bit open here about my mental health and that I do struggle with some anxiety, depression, etc. So, I started finally um, getting therapy, <laughs> which is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I did got a really bad panic attack last week. So I decided, you know what, this is the time to do it because I started to feel that it was not just affecting me, you know, mentally and just having a couple of panic attacks here and there. Like I felt like my physical health was also um, decreasing and I was having more symptoms in a way that it was a little bit more physical like getting headaches etc and also you know I was a little bit worried like is this is just my mental health or is this something else I my psychiatrist did order to make uh, some blood tests that will hopefully come tomorrow you know there's a lot of stuff that I definitely want to keep track of when it comes to my therapy sessions as well as my mental health and I've been trying to use my regular planner um, for that, my daily planner to like keep track of a couple of things. But in therapy sessions, they did tell me, you know what, it would be really nice if at the end of the day you could write at least one sentence to kind of start getting more in tune with your emotions and how you're feeling. So I think that's a really great idea. It's something that I knew like journaling is something that I wanted to do for a while, but I never got into it. I always thought I don't have time for these. I never made it a priority. So I think that I definitely want to start doing that. I do have some iced tea here, grab some drinks, snacks, whatever you want. I'm going to start. This is a little to-do pad. You can grab these as a freebie if you go into my Instagram. There's a link in my bio and I have a ton of freebies. You can like access to a bunch of um, freebie things. So I was using this before and then I stopped using it and I definitely want to use it again. So... I'm going to do a little ideas for therapy notebook and then I'm going to go to that page as you can see and it just has to do and has a lot of bullet points that you can uh, either check off or like you know whatever you want to do. So I just want to make like a list of ideas of things that I want to do, keep track, um, what I want to put on the tabs as well of the journal and then I'm going to put my journal in here and start just adding whatever needs to be added, if I want to make templates for that, if I want to buy stickers, look for them on Etsy, just making sure that stuff that I'm going to be using and realistically just sitting down maybe 10 minutes in the afternoon before bed and just writing all of these things down. Right there on top of the moon, we could sit and do nothing, I wish we were both. Okay, so for now I feel like this is plenty. I'm gonna go ahead and I already do have a little folder here that says therapy. So I'm gonna be using that and I'm just gonna add here my journal so that I can keep that. And I wanna use this one because I just think it's really cute and I just, I'm trying to make this as cute as possible so that I, real, I would really wanna like open this and look at it. So it's got an index for my tabs. I have five here and five here, which I think is going to be plenty. And then I do have the monthlies here. So I'm going to go start on March. So this would be the first page. I feel like I have everything that I want. I don't know if I want it transparent or with a white background. These I made because they're so freaking easy to use. You just like pop them in here and that way you don't have to like every single month be writing if you have like a bullet journal style it's just so freaking easy and i think that i had this in the shop but i don't anymore so maybe i will try to add them to the freebie section as well so you can snatch this for free and that way you don't have to be like every single um every single month just like writing gratitude and making one to 30 31 or whatever so this is just going to be really easy for me and i think i can just uh, write a couple of things that I'm grateful for or just want. It doesn't matter. I think practicing uh, gratitude is going to be great. So that's going to be my first March page. And then these come just with one page every single month. So you will have to duplicate them, um, which is fine. I'm just going to 
erase these. And I kind of like that because it takes out a lot of the pressure of I need to uh, feel every single day or I need to feel every single prompt or thing that comes with the bullet journal. I feel like um, I definitely want this to be free and have as little or as much space to write in like every single day. If I just want to write one sentence or if I just want to write I'm tired, I can do that and move on to the next day. So what I feel like I'm going to end up doing here is just write like uh, Monday, whatever, and just do freestyle, you know, writing here. If I want to add photos, I can. If I want to add stickers, I can. If I don't and I just want to say I'm super tired today, I can do that. Or if I can just skip the, the day and then the next day come back and say, nope, not happening, I can totally do that. Like I want to feel that way. So I want to, I don't want to set like, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like I want to be able to pick and choose how much space I want every single day. So I'm just going to leave them blank and I'm going to be using, um, if I feel like using stickers, I'm going to be using maybe some date covers. I've made some of these. These are not ready for shop yet. I'm sorry, but they will be in. I have another like really cute, um, today's Tuesday. So we're going to get started this today. Uh, I'm going to get these like really cute rose gold ones in there as well. I have rose gold. I have other date covers. You can use the date covers that come with the kids. If you use that, you can just write them and you can type them like you can do whatever. These I feel like are going to be so easy because you can, as you can say, uh, drag them right into here and not really care that much. And again, if I don't feel like using something like this, I can just go ahead and... Um, just write messily, as messily as I want. If it's like not even readable by me, that's okay. Like I'm just getting it out. Yeah, that's the idea. I do have some time, stamp, time stamps. Um, I can track my time with these ones. Those are also in the shop. If you want like a tutorial on how to use the crown decks and the spiral decks and all of that, let me know and I'll be more than happy. These will be really nice to keep track of my sleep. I feel like... Um, mm -mm, I want the white and then I feel like these also are kind of cool. These are more, I feel like I had more like calendar ones, but again, these are great for bullet journaling because <laughs> I'm not going to be here like, um, doing this thing every single day. You know what I mean? Let me just pop it here. I mean, I don't know. I will try to develop probably like a style with time because I feel like this is way bigger for this, but... These are really cute. It's been a really long time since I did like the bullet journal style, so I'm <laughs> really excited, weirdly enough. So I can mark here and then maybe if I want to, I can add like how I slept. I think these days it'll be nice to do it for my next session. So this week, just like really pay attention to that because I know that my uh, psychiatrist will be really excited to, you know, like see and be able to reference these when I'm with her and saying like, you know what, if I don't drink enough water, this happens. If I do these, this happens, you know, like those kind of patterns as well as um, because of the medicine that she's giving me. So I'm going to be able to say, hey, um, I'm not feeling really well. I'm seeing these changes, I'm, you know, all of that things. I feel like you can really bend out here and you can just like write, I'm so freaking tired <laughs> and leave it at that. I feel like that's one of the things that I want to do. So let me check. I want to do daily gratitude. So I'm going to be using these. I want to have my daily pages for journaling as much or little space as I want. Um, I want to add how was I feeling today to those. So that's fantastic. And then I want to have a couple of trackers. I feel like I'm going to add it after this page. Um just to have all the information in the same space because if you put like on the daily stuff you cannot really compare it but when if you see it like in a graph or something it'll be easier for me to like see the patterns okay i think this habit tracker stamps is what i need i do have these rectangles i have a ton of like different things and like in circles and whatnot but i just want like a rectangle right here and this is just a transparent they do come with a white background as well so if you don't want the dots in the back you can use them and I, you could totally just like do something like this and then add something else and I think that will look a little bit cuter 
but again I'm trying to make this more functional and I want to have something big right here and this definitely look hand drawn um, which I really like <laughs> I don't know gives me more of like a bujo style but at the same time if you have this you don't have to be like you know writing every single day so I'm gonna do sleeping peel always we were bold to just fly away I don't want to care it's being I'm good alone I'll be okay miss you like an old friend too scared now thinking I should call up so i feel like that's looking really good i wanted to do water intake but i feel like i'm gonna do that on my dailies or on my regular planner so i am pretty happy oh and headaches i want to mark oh i already have headaches it's fine uh, headaches energy okay and now for my tabs I want to have a tab here for my therapy sessions so I'm just gonna add like my notes for that therapy session one for example and then we can make now I don't want to be distracted <laughs> when I'm in therapy but making these like cute so I regularly have another notepad where I'm just like writing whatever but then I want to go in here and like organize things a little bit better so like what did I learn maybe um at bullet points I definitely want to add this is gonna be for my therapy sessions then I definitely want to add my readings so you know what let's go to we start right here so here we can just add what these tabs are gonna be for so therapy notes we can write them here. We can do another one for my readings. Homework and assignments, if there's something that I need to fill in. Tips and things to do. So like, she gives me really good tips. Like, I was talking to her that I felt like I could relax. And she's like, you need to take some time for yourself as well. And I told her, you know what, every single time, for example, that I'm taking a bath, I always get ideas and I'm like, I need to do this, I need to do that. So I kind of rush myself to get out of there because I feel like I have to work. And she's like, you know what, you need to have like post-its there <laughs> and just like write whatever it is that you feel like you really need to do and put it aside, like just put it aside. Um, so that's a really good tip and I think I kind of like... Uh, add it into here and then whenever I can I'm gonna put post-its <laughs> in the bathtub um, so I'm gonna add it like to my to-do list these are things that I need to add to my to-do list um, in here for example it would be like start a daily journal start daily gratitude things like that that I, I like she is letting me know like you know what this is a really good idea you should totally do these things like that tips to do um, things that I need to probably schedule to make sure that I'm doing like if she says you need to get <laughs> some blood test uh, maybe I can just write that down and then whenever I can just like um, add it to my calendar see when can I do this all of that sort of things that's gonna be the index I don't have anything else if I have to like add some other things um, I have more tabs here stuff that I don't really feel comfortable when showing you like my readings uh, I'm just gonna put here copy paste my readings they come in PDF format so I'm just gonna screenshot them and add them in here highlight them uh, I can add notes if I want to do them, so things like that, that are, I feel like a little bit more personal, but I think you get the idea of how I set up my journal. I am quite happy with this, and I feel like it's going to be really simple, really functional, uh, definitely bringing me back to the days of just handwriting everything, uh, like completely bujo style. So I'm happy to be back in that style also, like this is kind of fun for me too. So I'm excited to start with my gratitude tonight and start, you know, um, marking all of my stuff as well as uh, writing here my thoughts, which is something that I've never done, like I said, so I need to get like into the idea and into everything. So 
yeah but this is i feel like gonna be so much fun and if i need any more stickers and whatnot i'll add them as i need them so here are more like sort of um happy trackers i have a ton of stuff because like i said i used to do this type of thing maybe i'll even add if i feel like it if i feel like i did a great job on my um exercising that day and i felt amazing and i want to jot down um some like um you know some some of that down to to like write about it and how amazing that felt i can write here like what exercise i did i do have fitness plus so having like uh this class by this instructor was amazing and i felt so relaxed doing that yoga and just like my activity and stuff like that i can totally track that as well just like as a reward i can just even having something like this and putting like completed my rings you know things like that and just kind of make it oh yes yeah, silly and fun but at the same time kind of seeing how i'm feeling with things um it's kind of the goal with this so i'm super excited i definitely feel like i could share this how this turned out um as i go if you want to see that uh, maybe i'll blur a little bit of the writing but i can totally show you guys that if you want to and we can do like a session together <laughs> i don't know we'll see um so yeah thank you so much for watching this will be it for this video i will see you beautiful planner girls in my next one bye